the Rift update. I'm going to be showing uh, some clips from the trailer. I know it's already on alpha, but that only shows a little bit of what they have so far for like the beginning of the Rift update. But I want to kind of go more in detail on what I saw in the trailer and what are my predictions of the stuff that they show in the trailer. So yeah, let's start uh, looking at the trailer. All right, guys, this is the beginning of the trailer. I'm just going to skip through this since it's just someone entering the portal. So here you're going to be seeing lots of the stuff about the, um, the island and how it's going to look like. And just looking at this, you can see that the way they present this trailer is with like full bright off. Just in general, if you want to make it look more cooler and look more like a like an actual cool wizard area, it might look better in shaders. This is from what I can see so far. It shows the island and what this comprised of. This is like I'm assuming a mob. This is an NPC, and as you can see, this is a wand. So this is a potential item that you might be able to obtain. And uh, yeah, I forgot to mention this is a very heavily quest base update there's gonna be lots of quests to do and it's gonna be like a storyline type of thing you can obtain lots of items and you cannot bring items into the update but you have the potential of bringing stuff into the real skyblock world after entering the rift but pretty sure there's only a few items you can do that with and currently i do not know what so yeah let's just continue with and of course everything that i'm saying here is not like confirmed this is just like my speculation on the trailer there's people that's already went in alpha and stuff so it's still showing the island okay right here that mob that we saw earlier i'm assuming you can either kill these for items to potentially craft stuff or either you kill them for a quest and yeah there's gonna be like lots of weird mobs that are gonna be added and i'm saying weird because they're like way more different than what we have right now it's probably part of Oh yeah, there's going to be different ways of transportation, I'm pretty sure. This is like, you can glide on water, right here. This is like one of the mobs that I've noticed so far. I'm not sure if this is going to be like a mob you can kill for items or stuff. I'm assuming it is though. This is like a boss, I'm assuming. This is like a regular mob, which looks pretty sick. It has like a cool helmet looking thing. Looks like aliens, to be honest. Right here you have something popping out of the ground and running towards the uh, main player. This is the zip line. I'm pretty sure, um, I forgot who's the one that mentioned this, but there's a content creator that said that this looks like a zip line and it does indeed look like a zip line because you're just flying right below it and you're just gliding oh yeah these things are going to be used for like a quest they're like little eggs or something i forgot what they are but they're going to be used for like a quest or maybe just obtaining items this is definitely a quest related thing this i have no idea but it's kind of cool you got a bunch of flickering lights might be part of the island itself or either just um an actual quest This is a vampire, and I just stopped at the right moment. Um, there's one frame where it shows its animation. It turns into bats. And as you can see in the background, you also have the mobs with the alien heads with a bunch of crazy looking teeth. Pretty sure um, vampires are going to be a big part of this update. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. It basically turns into bats. I'm not really sure what it's for though, but I'm pretty sure it's like its ability animation. Right here, this is a bunch of like puzzle stuff with quests. It's going to be kind of pretty fun to figure out what to do during the quest. It's going to be like a very fun adventure. And I'm assuming there's going to be lots of guides placed on YouTube for every quest. Because some of this might be confusing to some players because this is way more different than the type of gameplay you get inside of regular Skyblock. Like right here you see that this dude is shooting balloons, which are like the, um, the balloons you shoot out of the Bonzo staff. So this is probably part of a quest. This is more mobility, just running and swimming across water, which looks pretty fun to be honest. And I'm assuming this is going to be like the big boss of the update right here. It's a big slime. It's like Kudra, but just instead of magma, regular slime. The boss fight's definitely going to be really different as well. 
and it's possible that this will drop you stuff that you can possibly bring into the actual skyblock world and if you gather up a bunch of quest items to fight this boss it should give something cool to bring into the real skyblock world it might be like a support item possibly like a new weapon this is just like theories of mine just looking at this and um there's also um it's out on alpha so if you guys want to check that's also a good place to go so yeah the reason why i'm not going on alpha though is because q and not only that but the trailer basically shows like you can see there's lots of bosses in general you can see some of the mobs which look like aliens i'm assuming this is the end fight boss or like a big boss that you're going to be having to fight eventually probably by obtaining gear from doing quests and eventually fighting it this is like all stuff i'm just assuming off of watching the trailer if you guys are hyped about the update and everything i definitely suggest going to alpha and uh trying it out and yeah that's the end of the video thanks for watching and see you next time bye